Enthusiast, Confident Harley here, and on today's little episode, um, what I would like to talk about is card reading and some of my experiences around that, um, in case you are wanting to develop your skill set here. What I have noticed with kind of increasing my practice of providing a psychic service, there's a lot of stories I want to share. Um, one of one of those is has to do with the finance as well. So um, it took me a long time to break the psychology from the LDS religion that it was okay and valuable for me to have people pay me for my spiritual services. And I think this is very rooted in um, patriarchy um, because we have these kind of underlying things of exchange when it comes to how we interact with people and when you're doing spiritual work there are certain things where it doesn't really matter i would be present regardless of whether or not there was money there so for instance i i help a lot of people process death um there's many layers to the grief cycle i'm very familiar with a lot of it but still even i um, continue to see new new elements to that as I go through my personal life. Um, but as I have found, often when I am trying to help somebody um, process through not usually a recent thing, because normally they're a little more disassociated when it's really recent, but when it's a little bit more delayed, they're, they're a little bit more um, comfortable talking about it. Um, that when I actually allow somebody to pay me to kind of use me as their as their their lock as their secret keeper um, on the storyline of what they're feeling, what they're experiencing, what they're seeing, kind of blending that subconscious world with the with our with our current reality, is that. It's a way for them to show appreciation and gratitude for that. Um, it also is a way for people to share things that are very heavy much quicker than doing something like therapy. And although I do find many, many valuable healing aspects to um, having a consistent person that you can talk to, I do think that there are blocks that happen through that slower progression. So the thing that I like about um, the services that I provide is that it is immediate relief. I'm able to help people ground very, very quickly when you know that you're paying a set fee for minutes per minute, you know, um, you expect a higher level of intuitive and or channeled messages. So that's what I like about what I'm learning because <laughs> I'm still learning is that the other thing I want to talk about a bit is you know looking for a mentor in this field I feel like I did not have a mentor and I felt very disconnected and so I have worked with um another friend at the shop a bit about how to um release some of those blocks for myself for feeling disconnected to my guides, um, for feeling like I don't have a mentor. But I feel like a lot of that is in the energetic realm and having talked to um, my friend and coworker, Charlie, there have been answers that I've received within the last little while about um, the fact that I do have a team out there that chooses to work with me and they have been working with me a long time. Um, I just think I kind of had a block feeling like I was disconnected because when I left the LDS religion, I gave up a lot of that spirituality. And so I kind of had to reinvest, reinvent it, rebuild it. But I do believe my connection to higher sources is much older than that. Same thing with when I, when I have mentioned often, one of the biggest reasons I left the LDS religion was because my sense of, um, my sense of symbolism did not match what I was seeing in the religion. You know, it's very symbolic, but my memories and my thoughts about what is symbolism um, 
it's much older information so the other thing too i work a lot with spirit animals spirit guides and i think that's very relevant because a lot of the work i would love to do is with animals and animal behavior i just get distracted by people sometimes so there's one more element there's a car beeping though oh it stopped one more thing i wanted to bring up on this little five minute six minute seven minute talk is that um There's two things. The one is that I'm going to get off weed for the summer and that's very intentional to kind of get a baseline of what doing psychic work feels like for me without that tool. Um, and because we all kind of hold these gifts regardless of whether or not we tap into um, higher consciousness source, I do feel like I have a very good relationship with weed, um, but I do want to feel out a baseline of what that feels like without. And there's one more key component, but I'm gonna pause and try to remember. So I wanted to talk about one more energetic block that I experience personally. And that is with some of my writing and with how passionate I am, um, I've had to go through a lot of darkness. I've very much opened Pandora's box. I don't know if you've heard that phrase before, but that's essentially when you have like a, a sealed box that as soon as you open that, that's your reality now. And it all these like terrible things come up and I've done that. And so I've done a lot of shadow work around that. Um, but I often worry about kind of handing people the key to open up that subconscious world. And although we all have to do this work, to truly heal, sometimes I think it's better to keep it shut. And so that's the hard part. But the problem is sometimes we experience things that force that open. And so I like to be there to help with that. Um, but the other part to that is that I have an energetic block that feels like because I went through such difficult things when I was younger that my life has to have an element of being hard, being difficult. And I'm realizing that's not actually true. That's just an energetic block. My life could be, could be all vacations. Gulls, right? I'm Sagittarius. Leo, I'm Leo now, but Sagittarius, previous, pre previous life. Um, you know, that when we, that, that, that it could all be positive from this and out. I could keep a positive mentality for the rest of my life and that would be valuable. And I think that's hard because there's part of my psyche that feels like it's not valuable if it's not difficult and hard. Um, and that is what I'm shedding. So let me know what you are shedding. I am trying very hard to produce better um, information. I've st I, the book I read that's kind of helped motivate me to get into this mode was Gallup Pink's new book. And... Um, magnetic mindset is what it's called and it has really kind of motivated me to try to upscale the information that i'm providing to you guys so and you ladies and you whoever is watching so i just wanted to kind of share that thanks for watching my name is confident harley ever in a book um the poetry book that if you are interested you're more than welcome to buy and i'm working on a few more books you know that's my passion so thanks for watching and feel free to check out my um, bio at Metals Crystals and or check out our shop in person and you can see some of my artwork 